Welcome to Upstart Training, Class 1, The Beginning. We're going to learn how to start the program, import your products, and save your files in the proper location so you have access to it easier. We're going to use Upstart on our own. Click on Go. We are now ready to begin. Now the first thing we're going to do is go to File, Open New Network File. This is how we begin to build a job. This is where I can put in the network name, the network identification number. And remember, if you're doing multiple jobs, please don't use the same network number every single time. The idea is to have a different network number at every home so that if a home is next to another one with the UPB system, if we're in an apartment complex, a condo, they will not interfere with each other. You can have up to 250 different networks. Now we're going to check and make sure our PIM is connected. The PIM is our power line interface module. So go to Tools, UPB Interface Device, and select. Now if your PIM is already operational, you're ready to go. If not, you're going to select PIM. You're going to tell it to find the UPB port and it will go out and look for the UPB port. Hit connect. It'll go through the connection process and connect your PIM. You can then go through and do some diagnostic checks. I can do a noise meter and look for any noise in the system. If you have a keypad installed, something that actually sends a UPB code, you can send the code now. Push a button and watch the system work. You can also see on the bottom bar that you're online and you can also see signals there. Now let's begin to add devices. You click on device and click on add. Now you see there's a couple of places to go. I can go here to device and add or I can go right here to the little shortcut and add devices. Adding a single device means we're going to put a new device into setup. Switches in most devices are just five taps. So to place it in setup, I'm going to push it five times. The light's going to flash, the LED is going to blink, and we're now going to look for the switch. Once it finds a device in setup, it goes through and reads all the information, the manufacturer ID, the type of device it is, and uploads it into the system. We've now uploaded a device. We've found a new WS1D switch. We now can redo the names of the room. We can redo the name of the device. The system automatically gives you a unit ID. This is the first device, so this is unit ID number one. You also have the option to erase the existing configuration. I do not recommend that you erase it. I recommend that you keep it whatever was there. One, you have some factory defaults that are built in that you can take advantage of. Number two, if you walk into a home you've never been to before that has an existing UPB system, you can now find out all about the configuration and what the system was designed to do. Click on Next, and we're going to import the information. After we're complete, you notice the device has been added to our list. We now have a visual indicator that shows the device. And we have the ability to add more devices. At this point, I'm going to click on Done, because the next part we're going to do is add multiple devices. The blue line lets me know that the programming in the switch and the programming in Upstart match. I also, on the left-hand side, I can now see some of my displays. I can see all my devices. As we review here, we have a visual pane to see all the devices. I can see the different rooms. This device was named in the room Upstart Training. And it shows NWW, which is my code for Northwest Wall. It also shows you a series of links. These are the scenes that are built into them. And we'll get into that with other classes as we actually do links and scene building. But right now, let's add more devices.
I'm going to add multiple devices this time. Upstart will now do the necessary steps to add multiple devices to the system. Click on Next, and the first thing it does, it tests the PIM, looks for noise, and makes sure everything's connected properly. When it's complete, it's now going to tell you to put all the devices into setup. So I'm going to go to each of my devices and put them into setup mode. There again, five times for the switches. Your six button keypad, you're holding the on and off for a couple seconds till it all flashes. Your eight button keypad, you're holding the E and L, which is the top and bottom button. Then we click on next to start looking for devices and add them to upstart. And you can see, as devices are added into Upstart, they will show up on the visual screen. Now that all devices have been added, and it'll tell you Upstart has added three devices to your network. So now I have a total of four devices that we're working with today. It gives you a chance to add more devices. Remember, when you're putting devices in setup, you have five minutes for them to automatically come out of setup, or you can tap the switches twice, or push the on-off button, or top and bottom buttons on the keypads for a couple seconds to take them out of setup. If you have a really large home, several hundred switches, you may want to do a couple of rooms at a time, just to make it simpler for yourself. Now I have my visual editor, I can see my devices, on the left hand side I can see what rooms they're in, I can see the different links that are available. But now one of the first things you really want to do is make sure you save your file. So we're going to go up here to File, we're going to click to Save As, and one thing I highly recommend is that you save your file not necessarily in the Upstart file because that would be under your C drive, under Programs, and then look for Upstart but to put it under your desktop or my documents. So I'll go to desktop, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to make a new folder. This new folder, call it Upstart Files, and we're going to give it a file name. Now usually we're going to give it the name of your customer, your job number, whatever you want to do. Mine, we're going to name Hawk Home. You can see on top Hawk Home UPB on network number one. So you know exactly what network it is and what job you have. Now that's importing products. Stay tuned for our next class, which will be building your links.